Hello there. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a self-storage business. My name is Sarah and I will be your instructor in this video. Before we start a self-storage business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. Self-storage businesses have become increasingly popular in recent years, with people looking for convenient, secure places to store their belongings. If you are interested in starting a self-storage business, there are several factors to consider before jumping in. Opening a self-storage business can be costly, as it requires a significant investment in land, construction, and equipment. Depending on the size of the facility, you could be looking at costs in the hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars. Some of the major costs involved in opening a self-storage business include 1. Land and construction, the cost of purchasing or leasing land and constructing the facility can be a major expense. You'll need to factor in the cost of permits, zoning, and any necessary renovations to the property. 2. Security features, security is a top concern for self-storage customers, so you'll need to invest in high-quality security features such as cameras, alarms, and secure access controls. 3. Climate control, depending on the climate in your area, you may need to invest in climate-controlled storage units to protect customers' belongings from extreme heat, cold, or humidity. 4. Marketing and advertising, you'll need to invest in marketing and advertising to attract customers to your facility. This may include online advertising, print ads, billboards, and signage. Once your self-storage business is up and running, you'll need to factor in ongoing expenses to keep it running smoothly. Some of the ongoing expenses for a self-storage business include 1. Maintenance and repairs, you'll need to budget for regular maintenance and repairs to keep your facility in good condition. 2. Utilities, you'll need to pay for utilities such as electricity, water, and gas to keep the facility running. 3. Insurance, you'll need to invest in insurance to protect your business and your customers' belongings. 4. Staffing, you'll need to hire staff to manage the facility, handle customer service, and maintain security. The target market for a self-storage business is broad, as people from all walks of life may need storage space at some point. However, there are a few key demographics that are particularly likely to use self-storage services. These include Homeowners who are downsizing or moving to a smaller home Renters who need extra storage space College students who need a place to store their belongings over the summer and small business owners who need additional space for inventory or equipment. A self-storage business makes money by renting out storage units to customers. Customers typically pay a monthly fee to rent a unit, and the revenue from those fees is the primary source of income for the business. Some self-storage businesses also offer additional services such as packing supplies or truck rentals, which can provide additional revenue streams. The amount you can charge customers for a storage unit depends on several factors, including the size of the unit, the location of the facility, and the demand for storage in the area. In general, prices for self-storage units range from around $50 to $200 or more per month, depending on the size and location. The amount of profit a self-storage business can make depends on several factors, including the size of the facility, the occupancy rate, and the cost of operating the business. The self-storage industry is constantly evolving and adapting to new trends and challenges. One such trend is the concept of valet self-storage, which has gained popularity as an ancillary service for self-storage businesses. With this service, customers' items for storage are picked up by the self-storage company at their homes and transported to the facility, providing an additional revenue stream for the business. In addition to valet self-storage, many self-storage businesses are also diversifying their services to increase revenue. This includes offering moving truck rentals and selling storage boxes to customers. By offering these additional services, self-storage businesses can expand their customer base and generate more revenue. Another trend in the self-storage industry is the growing number of e-commerce businesses using self-storage units to store their inventory. This represents a significant potential market for self-storage businesses, as more and more e-commerce businesses continue to emerge and require storage space for their products. However, the self-storage industry also faces a number of challenges. 
One such challenge is the growing competition from publicly traded real estate investment trusts or REITs that are buying up warehouses and opening their own self-storage businesses. These REITs have strong financial backing and can advertise more effectively, often charging lower rental rates, making it difficult for smaller self-storage businesses to compete. Another challenge is security for self-storage units, which has become an increasingly important issue in recent years. Self-storage businesses need to implement additional security measures, such as cameras and access control systems, to ensure the safety and security of their customers' belongings. These additional security measures come at a cost and can be a challenge for self-storage businesses to manage. Growing a self-storage business can be a challenge, especially when there are competitors in the market. However, there are several strategies you can use to stand out from the competition and grow your business. Here are some tips to help you grow your self-storage business even when there are competitors. 1. Differentiate your business. One of the most effective ways to stand out from the competition is to differentiate your business. This could be through offering unique amenities, such as climate-controlled units, 24-7 access, or on-site packing and moving supplies. You could also differentiate your business by offering exceptional customer service or by targeting a specific niche market, such as boat or RV storage. 2. Use online marketing. In today's digital age, online marketing is essential for any business. Make sure your self-storage business has a strong online presence, with a user-friendly website, active social media accounts, and positive online reviews. You can also use online advertising, such as Google Ads or Facebook Ads, to reach potential customers in your area. 3. Build relationships with local businesses. Building relationships with other businesses in your local community can be a great way to attract new customers. Consider partnering with real estate agents, moving companies, or home staging companies to offer discounts or referral bonuses to their clients. You could also host networking events or sponsor local events to increase your visibility in the community. For offer special promotions or discounts. Offering special promotions or discounts can be a great way to attract new customers and retain existing ones. Consider offering a discount for first-time customers or a referral program that rewards customers who refer friends or family to your business. 5. Expand your services. Expanding your services beyond traditional self-storage can help you stand out from the competition. Consider offering value-added services such as package delivery, document shredding, or personal assistance services. These services can help you attract new customers and generate additional revenue. 6. Focus on customer retention. While attracting new customers is important, retaining existing customers is equally crucial for the long-term success of your business. Make sure you are providing excellent customer service, and consider offering loyalty programs or other incentives to keep customers coming back. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a self-storage business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy. An extension for education.